to the channel. We are live from Impact. Les Alex here for Impact Gaming Center. And we have some modern action for you. We've got Derek against Keegan. Derek on Mono Blue Tron against Keegan on Ruby Storm. Keegan actually just recently won our modern RCQ. So shout out to him for that. But uh, yeah, we got um, three rounds of action here tonight. Uh, the RC happening out in DC is <laughs> has taken quite a few of our players. So we've got three rounds of modern action for you. Hopefully you do enjoy it. Thank you all so much for watching After the Fact on YouTube. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, set it to all, and of course hit up Impact Gaming Center dot gg for all your magic gathering tcg and other tabletop gaming needs and of course if you're in the st louis area or metro east area hit us up we're at 49 ludwig drive in the fabulous fairview heights illinois tower and plant in play for Derek keegan what does keegan have because as you may or may not know Ruby Storm can go off here on turn two. It isn't typical, but it does happen. Derek said, I, do I get a turn three? Keegan said, I think you do. So Derek can have a sigh of relief for that. Scalding Tarn Crack down to 18 here for Keegan. Going to grab the mountain. I don't know what's in Keegan's hand. I can't quite see. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what he has. He could potentially go off with a ritual into a medallion. He might start cooking. Looks like a th uh, in Derek's hand, we got a thirst. We got a... Is that a... That I can't lose the game angel in Derek's hand? All right, there's the talent. Alchemist, artist talent, that's it. And here we'll get that on screen for everybody. There it is. I'm gonna thought not see her. Derek assembling Tron right on time. But it enters the battlefield, and he gets to see Keegan's hand and exiles a non-land card from it. So Wish. Grape Shot. Valakut Awakening and Manamorphos in hand for Keegan. So Keegan's hands, he's got a lot of action. He just needs a reducer. Um, you might want to start here with the Manamorphos, depending on what he drew. So, because then he would get to draw a card, you know, discard a card and draw a card with artist talent. So... Going to play Manamorphos, so. Trigger on the talent. Discarding Valakut Awakening, drawing a card. Didn't quite get a good look at it. Manamorphos resolves. Two red in the pool. So can he draw... Ruby Medallion. You're going to trigger Artist Talent again and discards Grape Shot. Draws from Artist Talent. And just a pass back to Derek. End of the turn, he's going to sacrifice his Expedition Map and go searching up 
A land. A land of his choosing. Hey, Tron257, thank you for that subscription. We appreciate that. There's an Academy Ruins. And I think Keegan's starting to learn this isn't a typical Eldrazi Tron. And Keegan said, is this blue Tron? Derek shakes his head. <laughs> Keegan likes it a lot. Keegan says, it's your turn with seven mana pass back, so let's see what Derek can do here on his turn. He's got potentially a pretty big turn here. Island, and it's the Cup Island from Zendikar. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Let me know in the comments section what's your favorite. Oh, there's a pristine angel. Can't lose the game. Bash for seven, uh, four. We got a reader. <laughs> it's not pristine. What is the name of this card? Something angel. Eight. Flying, four, four. Derek can't lose. Keegan can't win. And Keegan's going to do some things here, though. Manamorphos. Draw a card. Play land and crack. Down to, I believe, 13. Yep. Storm count two. Has four red in the pool. So he probably plays Alchemist Gambit in the sideboard, I would imagine. So he can take... Yeah, I don't know. How's he going to get this uh, angel off the field? Keegan's got to have a way to get around this he can't win clause. Otherwise, why, why try and go off here? He might have a shatter effect in the sideboard. Rin's Resolve and Ruby Medallion off the impulse. Cast Rin's Resolve. Ritual, ritual. So we have a wish. We have double rituals. So Derek, uh, Keegan asking Derek if he has any responses or if he's basically F6. <laughs> Derek said, when, when we get to it, we'll we'll. I'll let you know when we can move to the next game. So we're passing flames in here. Seven six is the mana two storm count. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a ten, ten storm currently. 10, 11, draw a card off Manamorphos. Manamorphos up to 11, draw a card. So Keegan 
uh, saying he's going to keep doing what he's doing. Nature's claim the angel so that Derek can lose the game and then grape shot him. So there you have it, folks. Keegan going to take down game number one here with Ruby Storm over Mono Blue Tron. <laughs> wow. That was, that was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Um, so the win marker is going to go in the blue column here. And then uh, we'll be heading to the sideboarded games. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Again, I'm Les Alex. We're here at Impact Gaming Center doing it live in the fabulous Fairview Heights, Illinois. So stoked to be bringing you three modern actions. Again, light turnout for us tonight. Light turnout. I think uh, we have nine, eight, eight. We have eight players here for our modern tournament, which is significantly less than what we normally have. Usually we have 20 to 30 players here on a Friday night playing modern. We do have quite a few folks playing some commander, hanging out, playing some casual games. Um, I would say like 20 or 30, pretty, pretty usual here for Friday nights, but yeah, only eight. The regional championship is in Washington DC this weekend. And so a ton of our players are out east going to be doing battle in that so wish them all luck but yeah thank you all so much for hanging out with us tonight as these players are sideboarding here for game two and three but uh if you're watching live let us know uh what's up what's up <laughs> we're to the point where I, i'm kind of out of things to talk about other than pitching back down to see a uh, better view So, Derek, you know, got the angel down early, early enough. Just was not enough, unfortunately. But we head to game two. Let's see if Derek can rebound. And again, remember, Keegan just won our RCQ uh, a couple weekends ago. So he will be at the next RC, and he will be missing. <laughs> the next time the RC comes around. <laughs> I'm going to go out and adjust these cameras just a tad. All righty, here we go. We are, we are in there like swimwear, folks. Now we can see Keegan properly. Derek's frame dry. Let's let's get it going. Here's game number two, round one here at Impact. Modern F and M action. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully these players keep. Unfortunately, Derek is looking like he's gonna mulligan.
All righty, here we go. Pretty quick shuffling there for Derek. Okay. Hopefully he's got a sensational six he can keep. Keegan saying I'll try it. Probably going to win on turn two now. Ooh. Looks like Derek doesn't have any Tron lands. Okay. Keeping, though. Going to lead with an island and a map. Pass it back to Keegan. Desperate ritual to draw. Commercial district probably going to be the land here on turn one. Going to get a surveil. Not showing us anything. I like Keegan. Uh, is wearing some orange sleeves in the festive, you know, it's October, right around the corner, Halloween. Let me know in the comments section, what is your favorite Halloween movie? That's a fun game to play. Uh, so Island pass back to Derek, or Derek passes back. Do we have anything cooking here for turn two? Now you got to be worried about Derek having a counter spell too. When I see the Mind Slaver in Derek's hand, and I think he does have a remand as well, so that could be very, very crucial here. You go with Commercial District again, going to put Desperate Ritual to the bin. Oh, I'm sorry. Pyretic Ritual. Not Desperate Ritual. My bad. My bad. All righty, back to Derek. Going to crack the map into the turn. Probably going to get a land that makes more than one mana. Maybe an Eldrazi Temple. Maybe a, just a normal Tron land. We'll see. In the tank. Gonna be the power tower. Yeah. So Keegan here asking if it brings it to your hand. Yes. Oh, maybe. Expedition map would be busted if it put it onto the battlefield. That's a Boro. You can return it to its owner's hand. Here, I'll show it off. Use the technology that we have. Play Bloodstained Mire for Keegan. Derek just chilling, though, because he has a remand in hand. I think that's a repeal as well. So he's got options here. And Keegan's just going to pass. Academy runes drawn by Derek. Tower of Power. Right back to you, Keegan. <laughs> Derek says, there's a plan here. There is a plan. So 
Keegan, I believe, drew the Bloodstained Mire, yep. Down to 18. Yo, what's up, River Tears? Yeah, no worries. We only got three rounds tonight. A lot of our players are at the DCRC. So, only eight players for our modern portion of tonight's FNM. Got plenty of commander players, but. And uh, Keegan going to pass back. Academy of Runes. Derek going to play this Karn, it looks like, and seems like uh, shields are down here for Keegan next turn, unless Derek has a one-mana counter spell, like, like a dispel. That would be insane. Oh, my gosh, that would be nuts. That would be so good if he got to dispel something. Just ticking up here and going to pass back for Keegan. Woody to Foothills, a.k.a. Woody Footy. Going to crack the Woody Footy. Derek said, is, depending on how this game goes, I'll explain something to you. I think this is as as down as the shields get for Keegan here to go off. We'll see if he feels the same way, but it's obviously not safe. It's never safe, but one mana. You got to be thinking this is go time, and it looks like Keegan agrees. Pyretic ritual. It resolves. <laughs> you let me know when it's go time. And Keegan says it's not go time. We're going to wish. Two storm. Spending three mana here. Blood Moon. Blood Moon it is indeed. So no... Huh, I'm, I'm wondering... I, I don't exactly know what's in Keegan's hand, but... Islands and mountains, yes. He does have a way to bounce it, though, in hand, I do believe. <laughs> well, Derek going to play a mountain. Has six mana, doing it the hard way. Good down tick. The Karn, see what's in his sideboard. Just going to tick him up. Pass back to Keegan. And we draw. Not sure what that is. Is that a... Wooded Foothills, a.k.a. Mountain, entering the battlefield. Ruby Medallion. Oh, it was a Ruby Medallion. That's what he drew. He's got a Rin's Resolve, a Manamorphos. Manamorphos makes, mo uh, makes money. Makes... <laughs> Mana now. <laughs> Derek does have some counter spells, though. Sure. 
Is that it? Yeah, Keegan's just going to pass, I think, here. Is it time? So Derek did say I got some work to do here at the end of your turn. So I'm assuming that means we're going to repeal the Blood Moon. Put the map on top of the library. Okay, that makes sense. So now we can go get mine, or PowerPoint, rather. Key. Oh, he can't because it's a mountain. All right, yeah, so it is currently a mountain. <laughs> Keegan caught it. So they're rewinding just a little bit. Just f and here, guys. So in the comments, I don't want to see, you know, out-of-pocket comments. All right, so Derek drawing his actual card for turn. There's not using Karn. Interesting. Pass back to Keegan. So I think he, I think Derek thinks he has to target. It is. I, I believe that Karn says up to one target. Up to so no he he so I don't know Derek if you watch this back but you do not have to target something so even with the ruby medallion in play you could still elect to not target anything and Derek gonna pass back Keegan's had tons of time. Drawn a lot of lands, but he's got four action cards in hand. Ren's Resolve, Manamorphose, and I think a Ritual, and a, I don't know the other card, but and that Reman is getting worse and worse, and oh my gosh, is that, yeah, that's uh, Chalice of the Void. That's going to be pretty backbreaking here. I think Keegan's kind of giving Derek too much time here. Blood Moon is an excellent card, especially when you back it up with pressure. <laughs> Chalice of the Void on two, and that's going to shut off quite a bit of Keegan's deck. And a pass back. <laughs> so Brotherhood's End going to come in and take care of the chalice Derek doesn't have any blue mana right now now 
That being said, Keegan obviously does not have a mana reducer. We're going to cast Rin's Resolve. Rin's Resolve. Our Reckless Impulse, Rin's Resolve, the two cards resolve, revealed. Does effectively the same thing. Both those cards. I see a Desperate Ritual. Desperate Ritual. Storm is two currently. Three red floating. Lose, use two of it to cast Rin's Resolve. Manamorphose and Passed in Flames. One floating, one red. We're going to use the Rin's Resolve here. Blood Moon, Wish. So Keegan's going to have himself a pretty decent turn next turn. But unfortunately, Derek still does have the Remand. And Derek going to draw. So Derek does have Mind Slaver in his hand. Obviously protecting it. He doesn't have Tron quite yet. He needs to... Oh, he's got a Batter Skull in hand. Yeah, he, he actually just bought that Batter Skull from us. Angel time? Oh, he's going to repeal. So there's a repeal for you folks. Not quite sure why we did that main phase. There's another tower. Because I would have thought you would want to play map, crack it, go get your... Would he have had enough mana? One, two, three... He might have had enough there. Regardless, it's back to Keegan now. Let me know in the comment section if Derek would have had enough, if he would have played map, cracked it, went and got the final piece of Tron to start Mind Slaver locking. Yeah, I think Keegan's just going to try and go off here. Derek does have the Remand, but Remand's not great against a deck that generates a ton of mana like Keegan's does. Unless Keegan doesn't play around it at all, he could run into some issues, but here is a Rowl. And it's just, it's happening. We're doing it. He's got to roll his... He's got to do his row trigger. Yeah, okay, they caught it. Odds is... Odds is going to be the uh, correct flip. Plays land. Desperate ritual. Roll for Al. Going to take another point of damage. So, see, now Keegan's kind of at the point where he doesn't care about the remand. Now, if Derek has a Condescend or something like that, 
could be a little bit different. But again, Derek only has four mana to work with, so a potential remand and condescend for one. Yeah, I think I think repealing main phase there was just not great. I think all Derek can do here is just watch. One, not going to transform. Only has cast four spells this turn. The passive flames resolves, so now Keegan's going to have infinity billion mana to play with here. Ton of storm. So he's responding to the row triggers here. All right, desperate. Manamorphos, Manamorphos. Plus the passing flames. Down to 13. Rolling for Metamorphos. <laughs> you gonna lose. You'd imagine he'd hit one of these, right? Draw a card off the Metamorphos. It gets exiled. <laughs> Keegan's like, good lord. <laughs> Metamorphos to the exile. And there it is. So. You know, flip Rao. Comes in with nine total. And he's going to ultimate. Exile the top eight cards. You get to cast all instants and sorceries for free. This should be the victory lap here. Grape shot. That's a pretty good one. No longer has a reducer here, so... Ritual for free. All these instants and sorcerers will be cast for free here. So, and starting a new graveyard because uh, we have the Past in Flames graveyard versus the not Past in Flames graveyard. Nature's Claim and Valkyrie Awakening. Grape shot for 11 here. Past in flames. So Derek's asking here because he has the remand still. So key. So this is a way that Derek could backdoor into another turn here. Yep, Grape Shot, pay for the mana. You got 14. I think he's got 14 red mana. He's, he's, I believe he's going to have enough to recast. So you're going to go up another storm. Go to 10. Oh, but he's flashing back grape shot. So Derek could counter this. I don't not because if he if he remands here, the grape shot is exiled. The grape shot doesn't go to his hand. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's right. Jeez, that's cool. Yeah. Oh. All right, so Derek's still in there. Yeah, they're, t they're talking about it, but I explained it to them. Oh, but the grape shot... The other... The, All righty, so yeah, so we're 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 working through it here. I explained it because the storm he he's gonna counter the first one, but because of the storm trigger, the other thirteen copies of grape shot are gonna go wherever Keegan wants. Obviously, he's gonna point them all at Derek's face, and that means that Keegan is going to win this one. Yeah, Fluster Storm would have worked. Consigned to memory could have t countered the trigger. But, yeah, folks, there you have it. There is round number one, and what an absolute wild finish here we have in number in round number one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. we got two more rounds of Modern Action. If you're watching on YouTube, there's probably some videos popping up. Make sure you check those out. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and set it to all so you don't miss out on content. We have over 150, 200, something like that, gameplay videos already on the channel, so check them all out. We appreciate you. Hit up impactgamingcenter.gg for all your magic. Yes.